Hi everybody, I'm coming to read you another story. So today is a really special book for me, this one. It's called Mr Cheeky, it's one of the Mr Men books. And what's special about this book is um, it's actually signed by the person who wrote it. So this is an author, author signature, an autograph. It says, well done, J Hargreaves 2003. So I got this book in 2003 because I helped my brownies to raise money for children that had um, poorly times and children that were in hospital and children that had to have some operations and things. So I raised some money. I can't actually remember what we did. I think we did 26 songs in a row, something like that. And then we got a signed book because we raised so much money. So each person that raised, I think it was £50, got a signed book. So how exciting is that? And that was when Mr. Man was 30 years old. But any of you can work out how old Mr. Man is now. So Mr. Cheeky. Mr. Greedy was sitting down at the kitchen table having breakfast. Cornflakes, toast, eggs, butter, marmalade, milk, sugar, more toast. When there was a knock at the door, as he opened it, someone barged past him. That somebody sat down and poured some of Mr Greedy's cornflakes into Mr Greedy's bowl. Mr Greedy didn't know what to say. What would you say if somebody came and stole your breakfast? I don't think you'd like it very much, would you? Then that somebody ate the cornflakes. Then the somebody ate the toast, the eggs, the butter, the marmalade, milk and sugar and got up to go. Thanks, Tubby, laughed the somebody as he walked out the door. Mr Greedy couldn't believe what had just happened. His breakfast was all gone. Who is this somebody? Who do we think it might be? Now, you would have to agree that somebody who could do that would have to be very cheeky. The cheekiest somebody in the whole world. Mr Cheeky. Mr Cheeky walked down the lane from Mr Greedy's house with a wide grin on his face. He was enjoying himself and he continued to enjoy himself for the rest of the day. Further along the lane, Mr Cheeky met little Miss Neats who was painting her fence. Do you want to do some painting? asked little Miss Neats. Mr Cheeky picked up a spare paintbrush and painted all over little Miss Neat's glasses. Oh, that's really naughty, isn't it? Thanks, Four Eyes, he laughed. Miss, little Miss Neat was lost for words. I don't think I like Mr Cheeky. I think he's very naughty and cheeky, isn't he? Just outside town, Mr Cheeky met Mr Nosy. Mr Nosy had hurt the end of his nose. Could you help me bandage my nose? He asked. Do it yourself, big nose laughed Mr Cheeky. Mr Nosy was lost for words. When someone's lost for words, boys and girls, it means they don't know what to say because it surprised them so much that they don't know what to say back. Mr Cheeky walked into town and went into the baker's. He walked straight to the front of the queue. <gasps> Excuse me, said Mr Small, who was next in line. There's a queue here. And I'm at the front of it, Shorty, laughed Mr Cheeky and stuck his tongue out. <gasps> Mr Small was lost for words. Mr Cheeky walked out feeling very pleased with himself. Don't think we like Mr Cheeky, do we? Not very well behaved. Mr Muddle asked him for directions to the greengrocer to buy some toothpaste. Mr Cheeky told him to get lost. And Mr Muddle did get lost because he got in a muddle. You don't buy toothpaste from the greengrocers. The greengrocers sell vegetables and fruit. And he was in a right muddle. That evening went out for a walk. Little Miss Neat met, let, met Mr Greedy and Mr Muddle. Mr Cheeky needs to be taught a lesson, said Mrs Neat. I agree, said Mr Greedy. I disagree, said Mr Muddle, who was as muddled as usual. And I know just the person to teach him that lesson, said little Miss Neat. Wonder who they're going to get. Wonder who could be 
good enough to teach Mr. Cheeky a lesson. Which Mr. Man or Little Miss? Hmm, let's find out. Very early the next morning, Mr. Cheeky was woken by a knock at his door. It was Little Miss Bossy. I've come to stay, announced Miss Little Miss Bossy. But, began Mr. Cheeky, no buts and I like my breakfast right away, ordered Little Miss Bossy. Get it yourself, said Mr. Cheeky. Wrong breakfast now, please, yelled Miss Little Miss Bossy. Mr. Cheeky was lost for words this time. Mm, maybe she's the right person to teach him some manners. Mr. Cheeky was so stunned that he actually did as he was told. After breakfast, he decided to go for a walk. He wasn't enjoying Little Miss Bossy's company very much. Uh, don't forget the washing up, cried Little Miss Bossy. Do it yourself, said Mr. Cheeky. Wrong. Washing up now, please, ordered Little Miss Bossy. So Mr. Cheeky washed up. Doesn't look very happy about it, does he, boys and girls? Think he might learn his lesson now, not to be cheeky. After washing up, Mr. Cheeky tried to creep out through the back door. Oh, uh, where do you think you're going? cried little Miss Bossy. The lawn needs cutting, she said. Cut it yourself, said Mr. Cheeky. Wrong! Lawn cut now, please, ordered little Miss Bossy. Mr. Cheeky cut the lawn. He's doing as he's told, isn't he? And so it continued all week long. Every time Mr. Cheeky opened his mouth or tried to sneak away, there was little Miss Bossy shouting, wrong, wrong, wrong. At the end of a very tiring week, it was a very miserable Mr. Cheeky who answered the door when Mr. Greedy and little Miss Neat visited. It was also a very polite Mr. Cheeky. He made them tea. He offered them biscuits. Mr. Greedy ate five. And he didn't call Mr. Greedy Tubby. And he didn't call Little Miss Neat Four Eyes. Well, I think it's worked, announced Little Miss Neat. He's a changed person, agreed Mr. Greedy. I think you can go home now, Little Miss Bossy. Oh, that's a shame, she replied. I was really enjoying myself. They think it's really funny, don't they? Actually, I do too. He's learned his lesson. Mr. Cheeky showed them to the door. And remember, said little Miss Bossy, any more of your cheek and I shall be round to stay again. Mr. Cheeky closed the door and then very softly under his breath he said, Bossy boots. And the door flung open. <gasps> That's right, cried little Miss Bossy and went home chuckling to herself. I hope you enjoyed that story, boys and girls. I like the Mr. Man stories, they're great. Okay, I'll see you again soon. Bye. <laughs>